love, family, joy. If you're here, it's because you love Marvin and Liza very much. Well, at least one of them. <laughs> and you want to share in their happiness. Well, I know I do. Liza, Charlie, Cooper, I want to thank you for trusting me with this ceremony. I consider it a very high honor and a privilege. And I know your dear departed parents, Jerry and Barb, would have approved. And just as important, tipped me handsomely. <laughs> oh, oh. You're right, buddy? Yeah. yeah. Think on happy thoughts. Okay. Oh, childhood obesity. <laughs> Dolphins caught in tuna nets. Again. Syria. Hang in there, all right? Remember, 50% of marriages end in divorce. Oh, my God, that's depressing. Thank you. What the hell? That's our brother Charlie. Apparently, he's got some disease where he passes out when he's happy. That's a thing? Or else he's just an asshole. Well, I first met Liza when she was smaller than a butternut squash. <laughs> Charlie and Cooper paraded their new baby sister into mass like she was the second coming herself. I swear, they were they were prouder even than your mom and your dad. Hey, come on, man, come on. Is he okay? Uh, 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 Brian Wilson, vegan meat. Cosby. 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 Okay, let's go ahead and really drive it to the hoop now, okay? okay no, I understand, We're okay. Ready. Marvin, do you take Liza to be your wife? Faster. To have her hold, for better or for worse, sickness and health, cherish until death do you part? I do. And Liza, do you do all that stuff too? I do. The And God, I pronounced you husband and wife. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> It lives. What I miss? They're on their way to Belize. I'm sorry. Check this out. Before they left, Marvin presents Liza with this big box, right? A gift. Makes a big deal out of it. It's not jewelry, not a day at the spa, lingerie. It's travel pants with the zip-off legs. <laughs> I saw I saw the arm come back. I thought she was going to punch him. <laughs> Seriously. <clears throat> come on, man. But she's all right. Uncle Jeff stitched up her lip, and yeah, you tore shit up, man. That whole front row is going to have PTSD. She just looks so beautiful. I, I couldn't stop the happiness. You know, you won't even consider trying that Xerum, Xyrum stuff again? It doesn't do any more for me than exercise, Cooper. And exercise doesn't make me wet the bed. All right. I just, you know, I don't want you to die. <laughs> I'll be fine. As long as there are no more weddings, ever. You can count on you for that, right? Hey. Oh, I saw uh, Marvin's sister Rita checking you out. Was she now? Yeah. Must have a thing for fainters. Well, don't be so dismissive. Some chicks love a project. I don't wear socks with sandals, Cooper. I have an incurable neurologic condition. Hey, you can be all poopy about it.
Your baby sister married off. Mm -hmm. That's got to make you feel old. Liza always did everything first. When she was 12 years old, she pressured me into smoking a joint. Oh, come on, man. Don't you want to fall in love? I, wa I want to be in love. Sure. I ideally, I'd like to skip past the honeymoon phase to the steady sharing deodorant phase. <laughs> oh, you're killing me, man. I'm with you, Charlie. It's important to find someone that you can kind of forget is there so that when they leave, it's like losing a cat. No, that, that's not exactly what I... You know, I, I need to be careful. I need someone I can picture in sweatpants, just the right amount of mousy. Do you listen to the Modern Love podcast? I don't. You do? Religiously. Hmm. There was a story the other day about a couple where he was deaf and she was blind, so they couldn't speak or use sign language, but they were happily married for, like, 15 years. Mm -hmm. What happened then? Oh. She was killed by a self-driving car. Yeah. It was a lot. Thanks for your input, Victor. Everyone, stop talking right now. I need to concentrate. You know, I don't to react that way. Like with my mom at the baseball. I took you to the baseball game. You were like a crazy person at the baseball game. A crazy person at a baseball It's a baseball game. Is there etiquette for a baseball game? It's a little late game with kids, okay. right? Okay, fine. So how about you getting drunk at a little late game? Well, what else are you going to do at a little late game? Just sit down for a second. talking about you know i've been doing a lot of work on myself lately like i've really been trying to become a better person are you breaking up with me yes seriously Shh. we're in a library is that why you brought me here so i wouldn't raise my voice no well listen we both know that you're passionate oh is that a euphemism for loud He's getting heated. Euphemisms are a great word. Here's another one. Your freaking bananas. Mother! Ow! All right. Right. Are you serious right now? Ugh. Take that. Oh, okay, oh, ma'am. Would you mind? Miss Kitty, will you please get down? I like it up here. Yeah, she's crazy, man. And not just, like, part of the month, like, the whole thing. Oh, my God! This penny loafer-wearing asshole brought me in here to break up with me. Yeah, because I thought she'd keep a lid on it for once. Ugh. Excuse me, excuse me. Why don't you just let it out? What? You're standing on a table. You clearly have something to say. I think you should say it. Okay, well, for example, keep a lid on it. I don't have to keep a lid on anything. I'm pretty sure every nerd in this library disagrees. You know what's crazy is I don't even know how we ended up together. He, he is rude to waiters. He screens calls from his mom. He threads his eyebrows. I'm part Greek. Your friends don't like him? Oh, they hate him. And they can't understand what I see in him, you know? And then after a while, it becomes the reason why I'm with him. Sure. It's bad choices. That's your thing, right? Yeah. So it's her fault. <sighs> hey, hey, miss, please, give him the bell the book. You stand back. I'm going to tear this apart. She's all talk. <sighs> Ma'am. <sighs> Ma'am. <sighs> Ma'am. You will never, ever tear the binding on that book. It's reinforced for libraries. You can, however, try the pages. Charlie. No, no, please. Start in the middle. Knock yourself out. Yeah. There we go. See how good that feels? Oh. That feel good? Huh? Am I being loud now? Just relax. Oh, relax? Relax? Re... Re... Relax! Whew. Tell me something. <clears throat> Did you ever really think that this would last? Or uh, the better question is, did you ever really want it to? Fine, we can break up. Well, that went as expected. How do you do that? Well, like a blind man learns to listen, except Charlie's got an ear for pain. What's it to you? What? Uh, I, I'm just, I'm trying to keep things calm here. You're good at it. I need to be. Sorry. Yeah, don't do that anymore. 
I'm taking off early. Measles outbreak on the rise. CDC concern. Thank you. Zika virus. Congress. Oh, God. Famine in Darfur. White guy, dreadlocks. Oh. Hey, Charlie. Hey. Just made it. Barely. Thanks. You good? Yeah. here. It was very sudden. Hello? Hi there, Mr. Librarian. Hey, come and throw more books around? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to thank you for coming to my defense the other day. Oh, I, I didn't come to your defense. I just came to get you off the table. Well, still, I appreciate it. I, uh, I got you this, a replacement. Didn't have to do that. That's the least I could do. No, the copy you destroyed was a first edition. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you did kind of egg me on, though. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right. I was thinking about something you said that day. Right. Uh, did I really want it to last? And I realized that I didn't. It's a good thing it ended then. Yeah, but why did I get into a relationship I knew was doomed to fail? Ask the guy who doomed it. It's not his fault, actually. <laughs> it is all his fault. But I knew where it was headed when he canceled on a date to go to a boat show. By the way, he's the second guy to do that to me. Maybe you should move inland. Something I find irresistible about men I have no future with. Mm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> right. It's so quiet in here. Does it make you just want to scream? Don't scream, please. <laughs> Come on, if you tried screaming, it's fun. <laughs> I know it's fun, but there's more life than fun, you know. Is there? I'm not sure anymore. Well, uh, thanks again. I'm Francesca, by the way. I'm Charlie. Well, um, it was nice to meet you too, Charlie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We need to settle something right now. Are you gay? My it's, it's cool if you are, but. Uh, I gotta know, cuz I want off this emotional roller coaster. I'm not gay, LaBelle. Eunuch. Are you a eunuch? What? It is unfair. You won't go out with her because of how she looks. It's not her fault that she's smoking hot. No, it's not just her looks. It's her manner. It's her laugh. It's her stupid gift wrap books. She's just too. too. It sounds like you kind of dig her. That's the problem. Let's get down to brass tacks, Charlie. Sperm quality declined sharply after age 35. Thank you, Victor. You gotta stick your neck out sometime, Charlie. Life will pass you right by. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay what? Okay, I'll go out with you. I didn't exactly ask. Uh, how does 2 o'clock Saturday sound? Will your mom be driving? My parents are dead. Oh. OK, then. Saturday at 2. I'll wear sunscreen. Great. I mean, good. S see you then. Oh, wait, Charlie, don't you need my number? Call the front desk later. I need to go right now. I don't know. I guess I just don't get it. You haven't gone on a date in years, right? So why her? Why now? I don't know. She was so angry. 
beside herself, completely out of control. It was thrilling. Oof, I don't get that at all. It's like she's everything I've ever avoided. I'm drawn to her like a moth. To a flame? Charlie, the end of that phrase is to a burning deadly flame. Yeah, I, I get it. What is there to decide? All your shirts look the same. Why do all your shirts look the same? No compliments. Does she know? This Francesca? <laughs> Are you kidding? Hi, I'm Charlie. I'm medically forbidden to have fun. You want to go out? Pass the tax? <sighs> no. Come on, Charlie. It's too gruesome. It works. <sighs> Fine. Listen. You put as many office supplies in the bottom of your shoe as you want. Eventually, she's gonna find out. Dates are supposed to be fun. Not this one. The only good thing to come of my grandmother's Alzheimer's was that it helped her forget her miserable life. She was raised in a Hooverville. On the wrong side of the wrong side of the tracks. The kind of place where dreams go to die and hope. Hope is smothered in its crib. Is he a friend of yours? No. See, Mildred Munch didn't have hope. She didn't have dreams. So, she didn't have nothing to lose. Norman, you son of a bitch, you get a job. You get a job or you're gonna get a new wife. Those are empty threats. Just like you're an empty person. Were there good reviews? I didn't check. You're not a man, you're a Hulk. Mm. No, please, I... Oh. Why not? And that, dear friend, is when <laughs> Mildred Mine, my booby Millie, turned to prostitution. Hand jobs. Seriously, why are we here? Hand jobs, first huh? one's free. Why are we here? <laughs> I'm sorry. Is my play interrupting your conversation? No. Because I didn't buy a ticket to your conversation. So sorry. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we're, we're done. We're, we're finished. Uh, please continue. Sorry. Thank you for permission to continue my play, sir. I very much appreciate it. I'll just yeah. hop back into the moment. Because. I'm sorry. I'll just pretend that I'm not completely distracted right now. I'm sorry. How about I skip to the part where uh, her firstborn dies of common diarrhea? I said diarrhea! I said diarrhea. Diarrhea! Right. Yeah. I know, I know, but to be fair to him, we did kind of. Diarrhea? Interrupt. Yeah, diarrhea. Come on. I kind of feel for him. Where are we? Uh, it's, uh... Are we, are we in danger? Oh, we're starting to feel that way, yeah. Hold on to me so we don't get kidnapped. So tell me about your sick aunt. Wow, you look weird. Sorry. <laughs> it seemed important. It's something you're going through. Yeah, sometimes it's nice not to be going through it. Yeah, of course it is, but I'm an idiot, so just ignore me. You'll have way more fun. <laughs> it's all right. Since we're on the subject, it is hard. She's like my second mother after my real mother died of the same thing. Breast cancer runs in my family like hammer toes, so I've got that to look forward to. Look who's being fun now. I'm sorry, Francesca. That's awful. Thank you. It's not all bad. I've gotten really close with Sylvia since I've been living with her. Which I guess means it's gonna hurt that much more when she, uh... Um... Well, that'll burn New York for me. Are you gonna leave? Oh, yeah. And I always do. I lost somebody close to me when I was young. My grandpa, Jacob, he was like my best friend growing up. We had the same, uh, we had a lot in common. Every Sunday, he'd take me out to the carousel, let me go round and round as many times as I wanted, even after he had to stop, you know? I think that's the happiest that I've ever been. Are you happy now? Not as happy as Mildred Munch. 
diarrhea. Common diarrhea. Common, not even special diarrhea. Nope, common. <laughs> exactly, on the wrong side of the wrong side the of the track. The wrong side of the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> like Troy McClure. Can't believe you took me to that play. Nor can I. This is me. So uh, my aunt should still be at karate if you want to come up for a drink. A drink? It's 3.30. Yes, it is. It's not about the drink, Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I see now why you insisted on a matinee. You have more energy for messing around. Charlie! Oh my god, Charlie! I'm looking for uh, Charles Green. Are you here for Charlie? I'm Francesca. Oh, Jesus, no wonder. Sorry. Hi, Cooper, brother. Ah. So how'd it go? What do you mean? We ended up here. Bryce, have you heard anything? Uh, just that he didn't break his neck, which I guess is good. Yeah, I guess you two really hit it off, huh? Well, yeah. I mean, I think, I thought so. I. I don't know. I mean, we were headed upstairs, and he just dropped. He, like, I think he fainted from the heat or something. Yeah, yep. From the heat. Yeah, probably. You know, that's super common, because you gotta Well, hide. good race. Charlie's got a pretty nasty cut, and his head's gonna ache for a while, but there's no fractures. So all in all, we feel we got off lucky this time. This time? Yeah. Uh, Did you know, it? Charlie's uh, got a thing. And it's a condition, according to some, but to others, it's an adorable quirk. It's a disease, likely caused by the shortage of hypocretin in his brain. It's a chemical signal that makes most of us stay awake. But essentially, Charlie's body gets tricked to think that it's asleep. Wow. Adorable quirk. Disease. Hey. Well, hi. So, that was crazy. I guess I must have fainted. I need to hydrate. Charlie, I know. What's it called? Cataplexy. Technically, narcolepsy with cataplexy. Runs in the family. You Grandpa Jacob? Yeah. Yeah. Growing up, I, I thought he slept all the time because he was old. And then it started happening to me. Pretty much any strong emotion will trigger it. In my case, it's... It's mainly when I'm happy. So thank you. Why didn't you tell me? Uh, well, I had a girlfriend in college, Alice, and uh, she knew. But she didn't really know, you know? And because she was my first, I didn't know what would actually happen when we finally... Um... Oh, when you... Oh. Oh, when... wow. <laughs> That's it's not funny. Well, oh, come on, it's a little bit funny. It's not at all. What are you, what are you... Not in the least bit funny. Oh, sorry. Jesus Christ. It's okay. <clears throat> You're right. It is not funny. You know, I came to naked on my back, surrounded by EMTs, the RA, half the dorm. I always thought I died. Oh. I'm mostly. Steered clear of girlfriends since then. I, I can't afford the insurance. Today was a really big deal for you, wasn't it? 
it was a really big deal for me, too. Remember, I never date guys I think I have a future with. Let's quit while we're ahead. I took a risk. It was obviously a bad idea. Oh, hey, don't worry about it. We'll just take it slow. We'll stick to really boring, it's depressing not gonna dates. Work. Wait, like um, the botanical gardens, it's not gonna work. It's an not 8 a.m. walk, symposiums, lectures, Roosevelt Island. Please, Island. stop. I need to check you again. Sure. Look, I had a really good time with you. I just want to remember it that way. Look at me, please. Pain, scale of one to ten, and it's highest. Uh, two. All right, any chills? Um, no. Dizziness? No. No. Headache? No. How about his old bunny? The boy's governess asked. That? said the doctor. Why, it's a mass of scarlet fever germs. Burn it at once. And so the little rabbit was put into a sack with the old picture books and a lot of rubbish and carried out to the end of the garden. That was a fine place to have a bonfire. This story is sad. At least something funny. Yeah, yeah funny. 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 Look, this story is actually about something. Funny! Really? Throw it in the bonfire. All right. Try this little baby here. This one is called, Where Did My Sweet Grandma Go? OK. All right, all right. I think for a potty what break, gang. Yeah, you know what's going on. When we come back, maybe Mr. Charlie will read Walter the Farting Dog, yeah. huh? Yeah. yeah. Farts, no. farts, farts. For all your information, Walter farts because he's been fed human food. It's actually very sad. This field trip sucks. Hey, whoa, whoa. Not nice, D'Angelo. Hey, Mr. Charlie's having a grumpy day. Ignore him, Charlie. His dads are getting a divorce. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, what is she doing here? Nothing good. What's up? Hey. Cool. How you doing, Charlie? Uh. I, I feel terrible. You had a nice, depressing date planned, and I ruined it and made you crack your head open. I think you should go. Wait. Is everything OK? I don't know how to answer that. You're back at work. Fine, then everything's stupendous. Look, I know you wanted to take things slow, and I messed it up. I, I just, I think I, 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 I tried to get physical because I was trying to escape the emotional connection we were having. Fine, and stop it, please. I don't want to do this. I can't do it. If you're looking for a boyfriend, I'm not him. Oh, come on, Charlie. I'm just trying to figure out why I do this thing. You want to have fun? You want to escape? Look, meet my brother. Wait, what? I don't want another relationship, Charlie. That's fine. You, you won't get one. I guarantee within six weeks, he is out of there. Six weeks is 42 days. Yes. Awesome multiplication, Frederick. You believe this kid? Five years old. He's a hot male kindergarten teacher. Look at that jawline. Snap him up. Hey, Cooper, do me a favor. Take this lovely lady out for coffee. Tell her about the time you went skydiving with Liza Minnelli. The correction, it was a small Asian man who looked like Liza Minnelli. I'm so confused and, frankly, a little offended. I don't want to get coffee with your brother. No offense. Then go for tea or popsicles or don't go at all. I don't care. Just please leave me alone. Jeff Cho. What? His name was Jeff Cho. Oh, man, that was such a mistake. What was I hoping to hear? Oh, you tried to kill me, but that's all right. We're cool. Look, I know you feel bad. Take it from me. Charlie's going to be fine. He's used to this. I've seen that guy pass out after he caught a fish, OK? One time, he found the prize in the bottom of a box of corn pops. <laughs> Gone. Every time the Jets win, which luckily is very rare. Oh, phew, for a second there, I thought I was special. Oh, you know what I mean. Come on. I do, and I am very comforted by your insult. Great. Thanks, Cooper. Is that a family name? I've never heard that before. Named after the dog. That's not true. It is true, 100%. Yeah, he's a St. Bernard. He died just before I was born, and Charlie started calling me Cooper. <laughs> I guess I was a hairy baby. <laughs> well, thanks for the pep talk. See you around. 
Hey, where are you headed? Uh, Cobble Hill. That's great. That's right on our way. We'll give you a ride. Okay. Just a heads up. The ride's a big yellow school bus. Oh. <laughs> yeah, all right, sure. Okay, here we go. Hey, D'Angelo, I got a new bus, buddy. I guess you just wanted a chance to say all the things she didn't say to you. It's actually kind of a word flood. Do you want to hear? No, not really. Yeah, I don't blame you. Leave it in the past. We uh, actually ended up hitting it off. Yeah? Yeah, she's a big laugher. I don't think I'm that funny, but... Come on, you're funny. I like your De Niro. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Cape Fear. Do a line. I met him an opera couldn't refuse. That's Brian, though. Well, it's eventually him, right? Him before, yeah, I guess. Kind of. Yeah, do like uh, Goodfellas. Look who's talking to. Jesus Christ. No, I know that one's not right. Were you talking to me? That's honestly awful. Anyway, I thought, uh, I don't know. I might ask around. Francesca? Yeah, you know, it's, you're cool with it. Yeah, I'm cool with it, yeah. Good, because I don't want to, you know. No, of course, sure. Be my guest. Think you two are perfect together. You sure? Yeah, I've said I'm sure. A can of your cheapest beer, please. Cooper, what a nice surprise. All right. This place is great. Looks like it hasn't changed in 50 years. Oh, you should see what it costs to make it look that way. Oh, yeah? You're the owner? Me? <laughs> no. Oh. The day manager, you know. Easy come, easy go. No. This is like a paps in this neighborhood. We get it. It's terrible. You're hilarious. <laughs> Split it with me? No, no. I can't drink on the job. Should have been a kindergarten teacher. <clears throat> maybe, uh, maybe another time. Uh, I'm gonna take a break from men for a while. Uh, Especially since I almost killed the last one. Last two, come think of it. Well, you are in luck. I've been told I'm very difficult to kill. I do enjoy talking to you. And, um, I do find you charming in a sort of, like, St. Bernard. <laughs> yeah. But Charlie. Hey, he's the one who set us up. I checked with him, and he's cool. I wouldn't be here if he wasn't. Hey, Francesca? Yeah? Is it OK if I take my break early? I need to call my grandmother, but there's a group of drunk bike passengers who keep yelling the word titties in the background. Of course, sweetheart. Hi, I'm Bethany. I like your shirt. Is it Pima Cotton? I, uh... Don't know. Oh, you would know if it was Pima. Pima cotton feels like baby hair. Yeah, I guess it doesn't feel like baby hair. Must be Egyptian cotton then, which is also nice. Phew. Yeah. Woo. Phew. OK, bye. Hey, hear me out. Uh, how would you feel if we set up Charlie with someone a little more his speed? I went to a seminar last night on the history of sandals. It was called, uh, Walk 10,000 Years in My Shoes. Bethany? Sounds like the kind of girl who had her own horse growing up. I, I don't know about that. I met her at the bar where Francesca works. She's nothing like Francesca. She's more, uh, restrained. Oh, like shy? No, no, not exactly. Just, uh, she's not real in your face. You know, actually, she, she's kind of hard to hear. Cooper, you don't have to do this. You can date Francesca without finding me a sub. I'll be honest, it started out that way, but no joke, this chick is perfect for you. What, I can picture her in sweatpants? Dude, full top to bottom sweatsuit. Now that's just creepy. I'm not sure, man. The last thing I need right now is to get overexcited again. Yeah, I really don't think that's gonna be a problem. No? Hello. I was wondering if you could point me to the section of your library dealing with amaranth. Amaranth? The grain? Yes. The ancient grain, cultivated by the Aztecs, now enjoying a quinoa-like comeback thanks to its high protein content and nutty flavor. Ah, uh, sure. Right this way. Okay. Ah, here. 
amaranth and yew. Seems to have a lot of historical information as well as recipes. So. Thanks, Charlie. You're welcome. What? Oh, I'm Bethany. They oh. said we'd have a lot in common. Right. I guess they were right. Because <laughs> yeah. you like books. Yeah, I love them. <laughs> I love the smell of them. Mm -hmm. The old books? Yeah, right, that, you know, that's called furfural. Furfural? Yeah, and oh. furfural and vanillin. It's like um, they're volatile oh. compounds released by uh, decomposing paper and glue. It's probably oh, some wow. mold in there as well. <laughs> but some people find it very... Uh, romantic. Know, romantic, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. So, um, how does amaranth and chickpeas with spring lamb sound? Are you asking me out? No. No, I, I was just asking if that's something I should make if you ask me out. All right. Bethany, would you like to go out sometime? Oh. Okay. Friday? Friday, I have yarn making class. I'd skip it, but we're about to take on alpaca, so. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Saturday? Saturday's great. Yeah. I'll make amaranth. Look. Please. I like her. She's pleasant. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what she is. She's pleasant. Right? I met her, I said. My God, that is one pleasant girl. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. You going out with Francesca? Ooh, Mr. Cooper's got a girlfriend. All right. You know I don't like labels, D'Angelo. You all know that. And yes, I am going out with Ms. Francesca on Saturday night. The where? I don't know. You got to help me out. What's this chick like to do? Don't ask me. You're the one dating her. You set us up. Technically, sure. She's intimidating, okay? I feel like sometimes we're having three conversations at once and I can't follow one of them. Jesus. Mm -hmm. All right, look, I know she's really in the Bauhaus. There's an Oscar Schlemmer retrospective right now at MoMA. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I need something fun. I need a good distraction. Doesn't take much, and this chick goes dark. Yeah, Cooper, she's having a tough time with her aunt. I know, I know, and it's super sad. It is, so let's stop talking about it already. I need yeah, you and me both, Frederick. All right, come on, guys, pick up the pace. High knees, huh? Let's go. How about just going somewhere... Uh, noisy? No one saw it coming. Here everyone had psyched themselves up for alpaca, and the teacher breaks out yak wool. One guy had to take a time out. Oh, sounds intense. Thank you. Crazy intense. I guess from now on, I better not get too comfortable. <laughs> not if you know what's good for you. So, this is um, amaranth and chickpeas, mm -hmm. but no lamb. Sorry, I, I felt bad. Oh, no, that's, that's fine. It looks amazing. Thank you so much for cooking. You're welcome. Mm. I like to cook in other people's kitchens. It's like a little window into their souls. Ah, what did you see in mine? Extremely dull knives. That's more accurate than you'll ever know. Mmm. Mmm. It was good. Do you have kids? What? No. No, why, why would you? I saw you have some foam taped to the corner of that table over there. Well, that's just what my sister does for her son who's learning to walk. God damn it. I don't mind kids, no. It's not that, Bethany. All right, there's something you deserve to know. I have cataplexy, which means that I can pass out anytime I feel strong emotions. Strong emotions 
Like what do you mean? It could mean? be anything, like fear, anger, surprise, all of that. In my case, it's mainly, it's mainly joy. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, it's not great, but listen, there's nothing saying I can't feel mild, tepid emotions. I can go to town on those. Oh, gosh. Did I get you too worked up about the yarn? Mm, nope. I guess we all have something weird about us. Mm -hmm. I'm sexually attracted to Bob Newhart. For some movies, but now I'm wondering, have you seen Secret of Nim? I was such a basket case at the end of that. I think I'll be okay. Mm. I'm sitting down already. I think we should play it safe. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> we have shared the incommunicable experience of war. In our youths, our hearts were touched with fire. The Civil War was fought in 10,000 places, from Valverde, New Mexico, and Tullahoma, Tennessee, to St. Albans, Vermont, and Fernandina on the Florida coast. More than three million Americans fought in it. This is nice. And over 600,000 men. I feel really men, comfortable. Two percent of the population died in it. Yeah, me too. American churches sheltered the dying. Uh, Woo! Uh, let me get you a cap. Or we could share, you know, just... Hold on, it's my aunt. She waiting up for you? Not waiting up. More like throwing up. Oh, shit. Um, all right. Come back to my place, open a bottle of wine. I can't. I got to check on her. Uh, you know, I could help. Don't worry about that. Okay. Um, and besides, I'd like to keep this separate. Us separate. That's OK. Yeah. yeah. Hey. yeah. Think of me as your, your weekend escape. OK. Uh, also free weekdays, so but no pressure. Um, probably just walk it. Hurts. How far am I? About three feet. Oh. <laughs> this girl says she can teach you to do the splits in a day. That girl is nine years old, Sylvia. Oh, cocky little shit. I'd like to see her do this after 60 years of lying around. Oh, um, I want to talk to you about something. Yeah? What is it? Well, if I'm going to have a mastectomy, I'm thinking about getting implants. Really big ones, like double Ds, like proper gazongas. That's what you wanted to talk to me about? Well, I wanted to prepare you. Well, thank you. Do whatever makes you happy. So, uh, how's it going with Pooper? Cooper? It's going great. It's a little bit weird dating Charlie's brother, but to be honest, I'm kind of glad he ended it. Yeah, you're already taking care of one invalid. I mean, once I found out about his situation. I didn't want to risk hurting him again, you know? Yeah, you were only thinking of him. And, and Cooper is so much more my speed. I mean, he is so much fun. He makes me laugh so much. <gasps> so what's next on my list? Oh, um, here we go. You want to go to one of those second floor Asian massage places near Penn Station? Let's see if they actually do it. It? You know. Wow, it. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Whatever happened to hiking Machu oh. Picchu? <laughs> what hike? I almost died. You whore. <laughs> <laughs> Just breathe. <laughs> Give me that. Oh, you. Two to you. You bringing Bethany to Liza's on Thursday? She's dying to meet her. Uh, I guess so, yeah. You bringing Francesca? Yeah, probably. Well, it's a potentially talk heavy situation. I tell you my newest discovery movie dates. <laughs> Your movie dates have actually been around for some time. Yeah, because they're amazing. Mm -hmm. You talk too much, you get shushed. It's very clever. You know what? I, I think at some point you might have to actually talk to the woman you're dating. Yeah, I guess. Especially since we're apparently waiting to have sex. Huh? Yeah. Haven't jerked it this much since high school. Interestingly, I found I'd gone straight back to Mexican telenovelas. Oh, el fuerza del destino. Corazón salvaje. Cajico. Anyway, I guess it's because of what happened with you. Why? Why? What happened with me? Well, she said she wants to stop using sex as a substitute for intimacy. Or maybe it was the other way around. I don't know. Anyway, it's all your fault. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got you, brother. I got you. You got it? Yeah. Go ahead. Yep. Uh, here we have the Temple of the Great Jaguar, or the Temple a Cacao. It's a funerary pyramid from the post-classic, classic period. Phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Matios. Matios to you for sharing. In 1962, they found the tomb of the great Mayan ruler, Jasal Chen Kiawil. <laughs> This is going to take mm. a wheel longer. I can't you now. <laughs> and here we're moving into the North Acropolis, which is just beside the Great Plaza. Do you have any maps? I'm having trouble tracking the layout. There's a great topographic survey coming up. Mark, for the beach picks. You guys do anything other than climb around old piles of rubble? All the recreational photos come after the intermission. Honey. What? What? Did you say intermission? What? We might need to do some shots. That's what the intermission is for? Uh, that's similar to the other pyramids I've shown you. This is a map just to give you a little bit of the lay of the land. There's Tikal. Wake up. Right I'm room. not sleeping. Really you were snoring. I was oh, not. Then maybe it was me. <laughs> Am I dreaming now? You'll know if I'm dreaming if I start having sex with Nala from Lion King. <laughs> Don't laugh. That was my first crush. <laughs> You'll be out of breath around stair four. So is Belize on 110 or 220 volt electricity? 110, same as the U.S. Oh, really? In spite of the British influence? Yeah, that's fascinating, really. Wow, you're not kidding. You sure are in a good mood today. Me? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. This was fun. Oh, you want a new med? No. I, mean, I had a full-strength latte. Why do you ask? I just... I don't know. I'm so happy just yucking it up with Francesca, and I was pretty sure you couldn't even talk to her. That was before that. And you were like, oh, she's staying out there. <laughs> oh. So what, you're not happy at all? No, no, I guess I'm just unhappy enough. It's weird, suddenly I can be around her. Hmm. And that makes you happy? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Cooper's your shoe tack? Come on, does he know? No, no, he doesn't, and I know what you're gonna tell him, because it'd make it weird. Yeah, that would make it weird. <clears throat> Is he holding out? Right? Dude, she's smoking. I mean, you know that I'm all about the boys, but I, oof, I would. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, yeah. what? We need to talk. Right now? Yeah. I can't do this anymore. I'm literally dying from blue balls. Seriously? In this way? A man has needs, Charlie, and I would think that a woman does too, but... Uh, did that stay? Like I'm telling you, she's having a rough time. I know, I know she is. I know and I feel for her. I do. I just don't know that I'm the guy. I don't know that I'm cut out for this, you know? I think we need to break out. No! No, absolutely not. Look, you're getting along okay otherwise, right? Yeah. Now, she's having problems, and you are helping a person with her problems. Don't just throw her away so that we never see her again. We? You. 
Yeah, no, no, yeah, right. You're saying it's about her. It's not about me. It's definitely not about you. Oh, okay. I can get to know her better? That's an idea. She is interesting. Right. Does not own a TV. Get out. No, really, doesn't own a TV. Wow, there you are. Look at this as a chance to, to better yourself, learn to cook, take tango classes. Better still, I'll hook you up with a library card. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I read The New Yorker, The Dentist. I own corduroys. I can do this. I have faith in you. Plus, when we do have sex, I don't know. I have less faith. Yeah. Thanks, brother. You're welcome. Couldn't do it without you. I know. Whoa. Sorry. It's the blue balls. Marvin, thank you so much. That was, uh, that was thorough. It was my pleasure. I'm sorry I couldn't get that audio track set up in time. It's really the groan of the howler monkey that puts you back into the jungle. It's a, it's a... Oh, hey, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, you know what? Did you guys ever use those groomsmen's presents we got you? Uh, um, no, not yet. No. Oh. What is it? We got them each a night at this B&B &B up in Rhinebeck, and especially for Charlie, it's, uh, pretty boring out there. <laughs> Sounds great. But anyway, I was thinking it would be kind of fun if you guys all went together, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't well, Let's do it. it. Why not? Yeah. We could go apple picking. Are apples in season? Uh, berry picking. <laughs> as long as we pick something, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that sounds like fun. I mean, why not, right? Why not? Sure, why not? Why not? Hmm. Why not? Well, it's beautiful. I vote we stay here for the rest of our lives and never get in that car again. We got here, didn't we? What a bunch of little bitches. Yeah. Little bitches who would like to survive the weekend. Thank you. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's my cello in case we want to have a sing-along. Can, can you sing along to cello? You can do anything you want. a girl. <laughs> let me, let me. Ah, would you mind? Okay, oh, Thanks please. a lot. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh please an be careful. It's an antique. Hey, we'll, we'll get this stuff. You guys go check in, huh? Yeah. Yeah, sure. You got everything? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. hey. You sure you're okay with this? With what? With me and Francesca. I feel like you're acting kind of funny. Oh, yeah, of course. I told you. It's fine. We went on, what, one date, half of that in the ER? It's it's in the past. I'm with Bethany now. Okay, good. Because uh, I think this weekend's it. It? Yeah. Oh, hi, papi. Mi corazón. Ah, abuelito. Yes. Congratulations, what's the occasion? There's no occasion, just getting that vibe just ready, you know? <laughs> Lord knows I've been ready. I tell you, I'm off telenovelas onto the Food Network. Had a big old week with that Rachel Ray. That's upsetting. Giada De Laurentiis, maybe. Really? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, we're all checked in. This place is great. <sighs> You're gonna love our room. It's like something out of a Nancy Drew novel. Oh, I'm not sure what that means. Mm. 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 Is that just little kisses? All right. Those two aren't wasting any time. Oh, Ugh. gosh, I'm such a skank. <laughs> By all means, carry on. I think uh, we're going to take a nap. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Already? We just got here. Actually, I'm feeling kind of carsick, too. Come on, we haven't come all this way just to sleep. Let's go, uh, let's go antiquing. Antiquing? Yeah. Since when do you antique? Are you kidding? I love old crap. Could use another butter churn. You know what, why not? Let's check out the town. We'll sleep tonight. Let's do it. We'll just, yeah. Oh, dang, it is muggy. Yeah. Why didn't we take the car again? Because Francesca is driving and we value our lives. It's not my fault New Yorkers drive so slow. Uh, literally, no one else has ever thought that. Liza was right. This place is boring. Hey, well, how about this one? 
Oh, it says shop. Phenomenal. Yeah, I, I just wish there were more racist lawn jockeys. What? You know, I'm, I'm about ready to fade back. No way. Is that a trombone that someone turned into a lamp? Amazing. Oh, my God. My aunt had a tea set just like this. Oh, my God. Is she an Oompa Loompa? Yes, she is. Good for her. <gasps> and this mixer, we have this. This thing is so loud. It would wake me out of a dead sleep whenever she made pancakes. Speaking of, anybody feeling snacky? Saw a taco place. Did you live with Sylvia growing up? Uh, on and off. It's really cool being a kid and getting to come visit your fancy aunt in New York City. I got to spend an entire summer with her. Right. It wasn't until later that I realized it was so I wouldn't be around um, to see my mom getting chemo. What, when did she die? I was 17, senior year. Oof, super sad. Dropped out and I uh, just started traveling. I wanted to be a million miles from there. Never really came home again. Huh. Well, I guess Sylvia is my home. She sounds like a fantastic lady. She is a pain in the ass, <laughs> <laughs> but I love her. Oh, hey, Charlie? Yeah. Could you give me a hand with this? I got you, Bethany. I'm a lot taller. Ooh, look at this sweet baby. Do you think we should, uh... Come on, it's an instrument. It's for playing. Yeah. Oh, man, I guess it's broken. Oh, wait, look. It's not plugged in. Yes. <laughs> Have you ever seen such a nice display of bird's eggs? Hey, try it now. Oh, <laughs> right. Hey, I didn't know you played. Six years with Senora Paredes. Wow. Hey, hey guys. Do that again. Guys, that's really goddamn loud. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look. Uh, no, he comes. That organ's 50 years old. The world shall know compassion oh, to me. Pitiful creature of darkness. What kind of life have you known? Oh. Oh. Did they rehearse this? Oh. Char, come on, get out of the tub. No. Don't hunt me, you lump. Get out. Don't hunt me, you oh. lump. Tub never. Oh. No. Are you gonna stop? Yes, I will. I'll stop. <laughs> Teeth? I know, I know. <laughs> Maybe you need to slow down. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying no, anything. No, no, no. You're the one who brought up the librarian convention. That's Come on, true. you gotta tell me, what is that like? You wanna hear about that? <laughs> it's like uh, tons of sex, tons of booze, tons of drugs, just all in orthopedic footwear. <laughs> Liz. More wine? Yeah, more wine. Thank you. That's the, and that's sensible the secret. Shoes. Yeah, yeah, sensible shoes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, you want to hear a Charlie story? Uh, you ever tell you that uh, you won the sixth grade talent show? Mm -mm. This story's no good. You don't want to hear this Come story. Come on, you're being modest. You had the crowd on their feet. <laughs> I want to hear. What was your talent? Um, Come on, what was your talent? Uh, Tracy Turwell and I did the, the big scene from Streetcar Named Desire. <gasps> you were Stanley Kowalski. Stella! Yeah, thank you. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Yes, yes, no, exactly. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, only... That was better. Yes, those two octaves lower, because Charlie's an 11-year-old boy whose voice has not changed. Oh. So there's a 4-foot, 80-pound kid on stage screaming, Stella! Hot. Wow, thanks. Yeah, that's not even the best part. I, it so... is the best part. I made grown men weep. What could be better? You blew the competition away. That I could be that. better. Mm -hmm. The girl who played Stairway to Heaven on her oboe. The boy who did the foxtrot with his mom. These, these are true. But yeah. Charlie, you know, the, the modest boy that he is, sits quietly. He hears his name called as the winner. He practically Cooper. levitates Cooper. out of his chair. Aww. He sprints down the aisle. Cooper. Come on. He almost gets to the stage. And right then, bam, he's out like a light. He takes a head-first dive into the orchestra pit, splits his head open, there's blood everywhere, kids are screaming, fire trucks arrive. Long story short, long story short, they cancel class for the rest of the day. Now that is a talent. So sad. Hey, no, God, no, no. Look, I, I won. I won. Nice work. What's the matter with you? What? Everybody loved him for it. Oh, come on. Hey, hey. 
growing up, I had this cat, Greg. He had feline epilepsy. Mm. My brothers had this strobe light that they got from Radio Shack, and they would put it on him to make him have seizures on purpose. He said he was breakdancing. God, kids are assholes. Yeah. Charlie reminds me a lot of Greg. Oh. Mm. <laughs> right in here. Well, I don't know about anybody else, but uh, oh, this walk down memory lane has got me pooped. Mm -hmm. What do you say we, uh, we hit the hay? Huh? I have not dessert yet. Stuffed. You got some pretty good ports over there. For sherry. But, well, cello. We, we haven't had our sing along. Oh. oh. Greg loved him when I played. It was the only thing that stopped his seizures. Mm. By all means. Let's hear some cello. Perfect fit. <laughs> Baby. Mm. What's up? Go get your man mask on it, please. Oh, oh no! Sexy deer. Sexy deer, yeah, they are. And you're a whatever hungry animal eats deer. Mountain lion. Mm, a hungry mountain lion. <laughs> oh, no, much lower. Less throaty. You're supposed to come to me. As the lion. Like. Yeah. So far. Oh, 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 oh,
Seizure normally, you just go limp. I guess this time I had a seizure. We should call an ambulance. No, no, ambulance nuts. No, uh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, honestly. Yeah, you know, Charlie, seizures are deadly serious. Yeah, you ought to be monitored. No, this, look, Coop, I, I think it's passed. You know what? Better safe than sorry. I'm calling. No. Yeah. I'm, no. Yeah. I'm gonna call. No ambulance. No. Look at that. I feel better. Yeah. Well, so it seems. Hmm. Guess that means we can all go back to bed now. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. I feel better. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry. For now, I'm gonna have to deny you the booty. It's just not safe. I completely understand. All right, mm. hey. Mm. All right, mm. easy, Tiger. Give me a chance to get warmed up. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Preheat that. <laughs> <sighs> if that's Charlie, I'm gonna wring his neck. Could be my aunt. Let's call it back in five minutes. 45 minutes. You know, I'm just starting to feel like you don't want me. Is it because of the tattoos? Yeah, I regret some of them. Is this a little bit racist? Yes. Did I intend it that way? No. Her scan. Cancer spread. Uh, Francesca, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh my god. This is it. So this is when I lose her. No. She's, um... She's gonna be good. Yeah, she's, she's gonna be good. Mm. What's that? Unbelievable. I'm sorry, you have an amazing ass. My aunt is dying of cancer. It doesn't know that. Seriously? I gotta get out of here. <gasps> I... I'm not turned on because she's got cancer. is a compliment. Hey, what happened? I don't want to talk about it, Cooper. I should have known. No, you didn't want this. Thanks. You don't have to be out here. I can deal with this on my own. <laughs> Nothing to spare on my specialties, you know that. If she makes a miraculous recovery, then you're on your own. You know the constellations? Please. I grew up in the city. First star I saw was in the blackout of 2003. I used to sit outside for hours as a kid, making up my own. Flamingo with a suitcase. <laughs> if you say so. It's nice to know they'll always be there. How long does she have? 
She might buy some time with chemo, but um, metastasized to her liver, so. So that sucks. Anything she's always wanted to do, climb a mountain, travel to India. Fire a rocket launcher at a Dodge Caravan. Uh, what? <laughs> her ex used to drive one. She's done all that other stuff, you know? I mean, that's the thing about Sylvia. She doesn't wait for anybody's permission. She just goes for it. She's a badass. Yeah. Not a lot of people live that way. I know I don't. Charlie, the day you fell, you said you couldn't be around me anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. We've seen each other almost every day since, and here we are. Yeah, but this is incredibly depressing. Come on. At the antique store today? Mm -hmm. I mean, you looked like you were, you were having fun. You were happy. I wasn't happy. I was amused. Well, great. I was a little bit more than amused. I, I was happy. Hey, hey, Francesca. What? Wait, please. Okay, I was, I was happy. I am ha I'm happier than I've ever been. And that's because of you. But you're still standing. Yeah, I know. It shouldn't work, right? I should be flat on my face. But um, the thing is, every time I feel it, the happiness rising in me, I look at you and Cooper, and I'm just sad enough. But I'm dating your brother. I mean, I, you set us up. I know. That's why it works. Wow. I don't think we need to be around each other anymore. Francesca. Francesca. Bethany, what, what are you doing out here? There's bugs and all sorts. There's something really wrong with you. Yeah. I know. I tried to be up front. Not that. You. Me. I am fun, Charlie. I'm really fun. Yeah, of course you are. You're tons of fun. And I'm also pretty. I've been told that I'm pretty. You're beautiful. You let me think we, we actually had a chance. I want to break up. I completely understand. Um, come on in. Oh. How's Sylvia doing? She's hanging in there. Wow, sunflowers. 
Yeah. They're my favorite. From a real florist, too, not just Trader Joe's. Oh, well, now I know I'm special. And what's this? Uh, this is also for you. Oh. What is it? Uh, that's the thing. You know, I didn't exactly pick it out. I just sort of brought... <gasps> my aunt's mixer. You remembered. Yeah, I sure did. Oh, I love it. Thank you. I know. I'm really sorry that I blew up at you the other day. It's just, it's been so hard. Yeah. Hey, you know, when one loses someone one loves, one has to uh, look at one's sense of oneself. Yeah, OK, thank you. OK, yeah. Mm. All right, come on, let's go get you some lunch oh you know what I, I don't really feel like being in a crowded restaurant why don't we just order in oh come on so nice out there we'll go find a place with a patio i'm really just i'm exhausted oh, i thought you wanted to get your mind off your aunt i do i just can't keep running away from it you know just gotta deal with it so want to help me deal with it yeah oh yeah Let's deal with it. So, just lay it all out there. Um, what do you fear most about your aunt dying? Okay. Um, to start missing her, feeling alone in the world. Like, I didn't make the best of our time together, you know, and I'll never have those days back. My childhood, like, I would rather it were me, so I wasn't the one stuck here without her. She's my best friend. You know, Francesca, I should go. What? Yeah. Where are you going? I just poured my heart out. No, I know. I know you did. And uh, I encouraged it, so it's just as much on me. You're being such an asshole. Uh, I know. No, you're right. I am. Uh, just know, I don't feel great about it. How can you be so thoughtful one minute and then such a dick the next? Because... Uh, because I wasn't really that thoughtful. I, uh, <clears throat> I am so sorry. Uh, just... Bye. Thank you, New York. What'd you just say to me? Hey. She loved the mixer. Oh, yeah? What'd she say? I love the mixer. Good. I'm glad. Oh, all it took was one sad attempt at a conversation to end it. Couldn't we have just not had that conversation a few weeks ago? Oh, what a waste. All this time, you could have been humping it up. Why do I keep attracting such vapid men? Unless, of course, it's the other way around. They attract me? Like I'm into some sort of pheromone in the hair <laughs> Well, I just think you're attracted to what they aren't as much as what they are. You lost me, Ada. That's not a dig at your bald head. Better not be. <laughs> Sylvia Tyrone? How you feeling, hon? A lot better now than I will be in an hour. Here. <sighs> Face it, Francesca. You're a total fox. Oh, stop it. I am not. You know you are, and it is so annoying when you deny it. <laughs> Fine. What's your point? My point is, men will always want you. But it takes a special kind of man to love you and to appreciate just how truly special you are. 
You know, you gave me that same speech when I had a unibrow, right? Yeah, I was lying then, but this is about Charlie. <laughs> he rejected me. He's just doing what you do, protecting yourself. Oh, this goddamn place. What exactly was your plan? What? Help us patch things up and just go on being miserable? What makes you think I'm miserable? Your face. Your miserable face. I, I just thought it would make her happy. Well, it didn't really work out like that. We broke up. What? Why? Because I'm not in love with her and you are? Charlie does love me. Did he tell you? As best he could. Do you love him? How can I? Oh, Francesca. You can't keep yourself from loving someone just because you're afraid you're gonna lose them. But that didn't stop you from dating him, did it? No, it did not, and I regret that. Not because I swooped on you, but because you wanted me to. What the hell does that mean? Our whole lives, I have been running interference for you. I've been taking your hits. I've been watching your back. And for a long time, I like that. I like being that guy. Little bro looking out for big bro. Whoa, easy. Easy, little bro. Hey, you know it's true. You know it's true. I thought I was protecting you when I wasn't. You were using me. What? To hide behind, to manipulate. Where like is this coming I'm from? Some... Where's this coming from? You treat me like I'm a big, dumb, emotional battering ram. And I'm done. I'm done being your emotional battering look, ram. Look, no, you are not my f in battering whatever that ram. Is. Yeah, look, just, just get over yourself for one second. You don't have this shitty disease, Cooper. You don't live in fear of making a, a fool of yourself all the time, or maybe, I don't know, fucking dying. You get to live your life exactly how you want to live it. And you still fuck it up. Thanks. You're welcome. You know what, Charlie? I know better than anyone. I know better than anyone how awful this disease is. You do. I've seen kids laugh at you. You understand that? I watch kids laugh at my big brother. I've seen you be alone. That sucks, man. I'm sorry. There is a point where the disease ends and fear oh, sets not this. in. Oh, not this. And it becomes an excuse. Oh, no, my god. Oh, my God, you just said you understand. You don't understand that nobody wants to go on a date with a guy who's going to end up in the ER as soon as they kiss. Being in a relationship is about being happy. I can't do that. Yes, yes, you can. You can. You just have to learn to be OK with what comes next. That's all. Go, Charlie. Hey, hey. Go get her. I can't. Watch. No, you watch it. You understand? I mean, you actually understand? I can't. You can. You can. But I can't. You're gonna get yourself worked up. I want to get worked up. Why do I never get to be worked up? Huh? Take a breath. Okay? Calm down. All right. Why? 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 You all right, Shipbag? Huh? Ah, you're all right. Thank you. Thank you, New York. Yeah, OK. OK, what? I'll go. You'll go? Yeah. Sunday morning, after yoga. Oh, Charlie. No Sunday, no yoga. You go right now. Right now. Come on. Come on. 
All right, how do I look? Whoa, terrible. You smell awful. You're wearing a stupid tiny backpack. You gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. We'll be happy. Happy. We'll be happy. Answer the phone, Francesca. Life is for living. Answer the phone. Charlie? Francesca! Look, where are you? I've got to see you right now. Uh, in the hospital with my aunt. Perfect. I'm on my way. So beautiful. Yeah, have some mm. water. Mm. Mm. That's too refreshing. Whoa, yeah. okay, sorry. Mm. Is this Sylvia? Charlie. How you doing? I've been better. Mm -hmm. yeah. You said you wanted to see me. Yeah, God. Why well, you gotta be so lovely? You're pretty cute yourself. That's not helping. Hey. Uh, Do you want to go somewhere more private? No, this is good. <laughs> Francesca? Okay, okay, here, <clears throat> there you go. Thanks. I can't... I can't drive with the radio on in case anything by the Pointer Sisters comes on and I swerve into a ditch. I can't walk along any beach where there might be frolicking seals. I can't eat kettle corn. I can't boogie board. I can't swim in any body of water that is higher than my chest, especially if there's some guy playing with his gorgeous golden retriever. I can't barbecue unsupervised. I probably can't go to the Grand Canyon just based on the pictures I've seen because it's too breathtakingly beautiful. I would like to have kids. But they will either have to be boring or spoiled because cute and adorable. Charlie, we'll adopt the worst kids we can find. Kiss, God damn it.
Exciting.